Hey, what's going on guys? I just want to give a little update on the Toro Time Master. Man, this thing rocks the house. Um, you know, for you guys that have been following me a while, you kind of know my trials and tribulations with the Toro Time Master, but I don't know, man. I must have had a... Well, I know we know it was a 2013, so it didn't have those high lift blades. It didn't have the, uh, the baffle, but I mean... Hey, I'm no engineer, but that baffle must be some serious shit because, I mean, this thing is just cutting absolutely amazing. There's no stragglers. I mean, you know, listen, it's not going to stripe like, uh, you know, a zero turn or, or a, a walk behind or something like that. But all I care about is there's no stragglers and I don't have any, n none anymore. So... All I can say is this Toro Time Master is a great, great. Anyone's thinking about getting one. I mean, it's a it's a nice time saver. Nothing crazy. I mean, you're going to save on a lawn like this, I don't know, 10 minutes. But, you know, time is money. But this is, I'm just real happy with it. I mean, my Toro Time Master never cut like this. Again, just no stragglers. And... I'm very happy with its performance. So if anyone out there is kind of like on the fence and maybe they've seen some of the old Supreme Services uh, Toro Time Master videos, um, they made some changes. Again, I had a 13. They didn't have the high lift blades. They didn't have the baffle system. It just feels different. You know, it actually sounds different. As soon as I, before I even mowed with it, I was telling people, you can just hear the difference. I don't know if it's getting more air. I don't know if it's making the grass stand up more than with, you know, without having the baffle, you know, because it would just leave so many stranglers. I'd have to go like double, double cut. And now it is just, it's, it's great. So that's pretty much the story here. I'm done for the week. It's Friday. I had uh, around four lawns to do. Took the old Time Master and, um, that's it. I'm really, really liking it. Um, again, it's a great... I don't see no need for that commercial Turf Master or commercial 30. Same transmission. Um, the only thing, you know, you're going to get black wheels. You're going to get a Kawasaki. Yeah, it's better than the Briggs, but, you know, it's a lot heavier. I mean, it is it's like a tank. It's got to be 30 pounds more than this machine and this is pretty heavy but i mean you can maneuver it it's it's you know a big push mower but that that commercial 30 or that turf master is heavy and you know i like the way i like the personal pace you know some people don't like it then you're not going to like this mower but i like it i like the way you can set the wheels you know this is just two you know with the, with the x mark and with the you're just taking pins out and all that crap um you know, it's pretty much the same thing besides a couple different points. It's not worth double the price. Um, and it's cutting. They cut, and they cut pretty well. So that's my opinion on it. Again, you do what you want to do. But that's it. Checking in, checking out. Catch you on the next one. Oh, I want to say uh, thanks to uh, mowing and growing. I've been always forgetting. But uh, he gave me a nice shot, a shot out there, man. He's such a great dude. You know, he's an over in Australia, and it's just amazing how someone, I don't know, 10,000 miles away, I don't know how the hell far he is, um, that you can make a friend in this lawn care community and another good guy, and, you know, you talk about some stuff that, you know, some stuff you would never thought when you started making videos, you know, you would get to know some of these people and some of their personal stuff, and it's just a great, great... Um, format it's a great community and you know it's growing like crazy i mean and i'm so happy people are, are getting involved and doing videos and having fun you know kind of makes the day go quicker some of the younger guys i'm an old man now so it's a little bit different for me but you know social media is the big thing some of these kids it gives them something to kind of do while they're cutting you know it can get boring out there but um it's great. So that's about it. I'll catch you guys on the next one. And uh, later.